Hello, my name is Joseph Mathias, and I'm doing a presentation on the Communist Party of America. The Communist Party of America was founded in 1919 by C.E. Ruthenberg in an attempt to get rid of capitalism in the United States. There are no U.S. House leaders, Senate leaders, or chairs of the Governor, Governor's Association. The chair of the party at the moment is John Bactill, and it was preceded by the Socialist Party of America. Their motto is, a better and peaceful world is possible, a world where people and nature come before profits. That's socialism. That's the Communist Party of the United States of America. And their mission statement is, the Communist Party of the United States of America is, an, uh, is of and for the United States working class. Our U.S. working class is multiracial, multinational, it unites men and women, young and old, gay and straight, native-born and immigrant, urban and rural. We are employed and unemployed, organized and unorganized, and all our occupations, the vast majority of our society. We are part of the African American, Mexican American, Caribbean, Central and South American, Native American, Middle Eastern, Central, South, and East Asian and Pacific Islanders, and all racially and nationally oppressed people, as well as women, youth, and all other working people. It's from the Communist Preamble. The one affiliate they have is the International Meeting of Communists and Workers' Parties. And, of course, since they're communists, the color is red. The founding history of the Communist Party of America was that it was founded in 1919 by C.E. Ruthenberg in an attempt to get rid of capitalism in the United States. This will never happen, though. Long live America, long live capitalism. It was a split-off group from the Socialist Party of America after the Socialist Party was being prosecuted for not supporting American America's efforts in World War I. Within a few months of the founding of the Communist Party, they had already amassed 50 to 60,000 members. The party contained people from many different ethnicities and didn't care about whether you were male or female. The 20th century history is that it since it's a fairly new party, any of its history is 20th century. It started in 1919, and during the Spanish Civil War, many American communists went over to fight for the Spanish Republic because the first military force, becoming the first military force to have no segregation towards black and whites. During the Cold War between Russia and America, funding from Russia was cut off, and the America commun American Communist Party's membership dwindled down to around 10,000 and around 1,500 of the members were actually spies from the FBI, attempting to find some reason to get rid of the organization. During the 1980s, the American Communist Party distanced itself from the no longer communist Russia, and finally, in 1989, all funding from Soviet Russia was cut off. The American Communist Party now attempts to have equal rights for all, and still attempts to get rid of capitalism, which will never work. The Communist Party has quite a long list of um, years where they ran for presidency, which is the only office they've ever run for. And from 1924 to 1932, it was William Z. Foster trying to run for president, with Benjamin Gitlow as vice president two of those years, and James W. Ford as another. Um, generally, they got less than 1% of the vote of all the people in the United States, and during that time, they were the Workers' Party of America. The next candidate to run was in 1936 to 1940, and that was Earl Browder, still less than 1% of the votes, under the name Communist Party of America. 1968, it was Charlene Mitchell. 1972, Gus Hall. 1976, Gus Hall again. And all the way down to 1984, which was the last time they really attempted to run for presidency, was Gus Hall, with less and less votes each time, all the way down to even 0.0% of the votes. And they've only ever really sought the president presidential office, and there have been no recent victories, they're just a failure. The ideology and political positions for the Communist Party of America, economic, they call for a minimum wage to be raised to $15 per hour, more taxing the rich, universal health care, and the removal of free trade from the United States, which would really badly affect our country, because it's a very small group that's badly affected by it. The rest is positively influenced. Social aspects of political positions. The Communist Party calls for equal rights for everybody, and the end of racial profiling, the end of sexism, and the attempt to get rid of homelessness. Environmental. They attempt to spread the word about global warming. They want to end to nuclear power plants until, they are si until there is a safe way to get rid of toxic waste it produces, and the disarmament of nuclear warheads in order to reduce the risk of nuclear war. 
National Defense. The American Communist Party calls for the complete and immediate removal of our nuclear arms and those of other countries around the world. They also do not believe in, that we should be involved in wars and have criticized the government for every war they have been in. In international politics, the American Communist Party believes that North American free trade agreement should be brought to an end, and even though it helps almost the whole country, since a very small group is affected by this, they believe it needs to be, get rid of, be, getten, be gotten rid of. For the student wing and youth wing, the Young Communist League was founded in 1920 in an attempt to spread communist ideology to American youth. Membership was never very high for this group, but had a sudden uptake after Bush's stint as president, and then grew even more rapidly when Obama became president. My thoughts about this party. What do I like about this party is, the, I guess the only thing I can say that I like about it is that they want equality for everybody. And what do I not like about this party? There are many things I dislike about the Communist Party, most of all it wanting to get rid of capitalism and replace it with communism, which has not worked in any country it's ever been tried in. I also don't like their stance on terrorists since that fight they say that fighting wars will not destroy these terrorists. It makes me think that if we let Al-Qaeda go after the World Trade Center, wouldn't they have found that as a sign for our weakness and attacked us again? What could the Communist Party do to better their chances of winning? The only thing that they could do better to increase their chances of winning would be to dissolve themselves. They would need to create a different group that was left to, less to the left than they are now. Their ideas haven't worked anywhere in the world and only lead to the downfall of this country. My impressions of the campaign literature, slogans, ads, etc. My impression of their ads and such is that they're a bunch of special snowflakes who believe that their goals can be achieved by whining about everything. If they truly want to help, then they should go out and volunteer rather than sitting home and writing articles about how much better communist America would be. My closing comments. The American Communist Party is a failure. Their ideas have never worked in any country they've tried it in and never would work unless everyone was willing to work for it. That will never happen though because people are lazy and selfish and that's not the way that's not the way communism would work. And I've been playing Russian music in the background. <laughs>